Good morning, this is Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama Livecast. Thanks for joining in today on this bright, sunny morning. We're outside. It's just a little bit cool today. Yes. Fall is it's in beautiful. the air. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. Well, today we're going to talk about stabilization in particular when uh, in regards to when something's happened immediately to mom or dad. Like mom, let's say mom falls and breaks a hip goes to the hospital, has surgery, needs rehabilitation. Obviously, the first area of focus is on her health. Is she okay? What are the doctors saying? Is she getting the medical care she needs? Do you need to get a second opinion? Everything associated with the hospital and, and her care. And while she's at the hospital, they would give, the doctors would give an assessment. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what mom needs. Right. And let's say they say, she can go back home, but but what? Now things are going to be a little bit different, right? Right. So what you need to do now is to determine what mom can do that she was able to do before and what she can't do that she used to do for herself. So do an assessment and see the areas that where she's going to need care or assistance and determine who's going to provide that care. Does she have several adult children who live in the area that can provide that? Let's get mom stabilized, hopefully as close to where she was before the health crisis and get her stabilized and then we stabilize the adult children. You know, one thing we don't talk about a lot here is, is mom's emotions. I, I mean, you can only imagine she was going along doing things pretty well for herself, things were going fine and all of a sudden boom she falls and her whole world changes she's in the hospital for several days now she's home and even if she's physically recovering uh, now things are way different she's got people in her home yeah maybe caregivers in her home that she's never had before she knows things may be a little bit different so just think what can you do to help mom with this, this is not a trivial matter. I mean, her no. emotions, how's she feeling? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? You sit down and talk about it. Because you talk through it. Because it is, it's, I would think she would fear that she's losing her independence if other people are coming in to do things for her that she was able to do before. And reassure her that, Mom, we just want to help you. We want to keep you safe. Make any adjustments in the home. Say, if she did fall and break that hip, what caused the fall? Was it a rug? Was it a piece of furniture that, that had gotten moved and she wasn't used to, she bumped into and then fell? Do an assessment and make sure that the home is safe. And talk to her. Say, Mom, we just want you to be safe and secure. As you heal, you may not meet, need as much care, so that will lessen the care. In activities, what activities was she engaged in before that she really enjoyed? And could she do, do them again, maybe with assistance, or could she do something similar to that? Anything that can be done to keep a sense of normalcy in her life uh, would probably help a lot in and the uh, emotional realm people who does she want to be around who is there you know what activities and all of these types of things so this was the first area of stability when something like this happens which is mom the second area is family this kind of rocks the world of the kids a lot of times because mom was this it kind of like hits them in the face with a wet fish you know mom something happened i mean mom's always been the rock she's always been solid and going doing stuff and not only taking care of herself but taking care of other people and now something's happened to mom and mom needs help so it can really set the kids on their heels too can't it? absolutely because the kids you know they already have a full life they've got their work and their family and their hobbies and commitments and now it's like they they want to step up and help take care of mom and meet her needs and make sure she's safe and secure and maintaining her quality of life. So it just adds an extra layer of complication on their life. And sometimes it can get out of balance pretty quick right. because as an adult child caregiver, you don't realize just how much effort it takes to be a caregiver. It's mental, emotional, as well as physical, it's time. So you really need to stop and think, okay, what is what has changed in my life because of mom's health crisis? And what do I need to do to stabilize 
it. Yeah, and so do, we talked about doing a family assessment of mom, it's good to do a family assessment of you too. Yes. Like, you know, what things was I just bopping along doing here a few weeks ago and now, you know, mom requires all of this extra care, what's changed in my life, you know? How's my stress level? How's my uh, situation with my family? I've not seen them near as much. How's my situation with my job? Is, is that okay? What do I need to do to bring in some more stability to my life? Do I need to get some extra help? Do, you know, what do I need? A lot of times the yeah. focus is so much on mom that the kids forget to even think about, hey, what do I need? To <laughs> totally. Be because if you go down, totally. then it's not going to be a good day because you're, you may be the primary caregiver or you may be assisting with mom's care. So it's important that you spend some time focusing, okay, what do I need to maintain some sense of stability in my life? And so we've talked about mom, talked about you, the family, and then the third area is money that always comes up you know maybe in the past mom was doing fine i mean she she had this much income and that much outgo you know her income was more than her outgo she was even saving money every month and things were fine now she's got to have maybe non-medical home care coming in in our area it's what twenty dollars an hour so that costs money and you think about how many hours that she needs so what can a family do about that mm -hmm. they get a budget for it you know if mom has the extra income to cover it that's great if not she may have to start pulling from her savings or cds her investments her um, iras different places uh, you need to really look long term what kind of care she's going to need but especially right now, you want to keep things as even as possible. Another big thing at this point is um, insurance. You know, mom's just come out of the hospital. Was there an ambulance bill to get to the hospital? What kind of supplement does she have? What did it cover? Um, what did it not cover? The bills are coming in. So look at them, see, uh, double, double check, make sure what insurance is going to pay for and what it's not. And then you've got to, you know, deal with the rest of it. Help mom determine how to pay these um, hospital bills. You know, and a lot of times the kids would, if they're able and willing to do so, would contribute time or money. Time being, you know, maybe we can't afford uh, 80 hours a week of, of non-medical care, but maybe, you know, the family can take turns, you know, take shifts, be there just in certain blocks of time. Maybe mom doesn't need someone there all the time. She just maybe needs people there at certain times of the day to help her or to help with certain tasks. So again, this is where the family assessment comes in. What exactly does she need and how can we, the family, help and be there and maybe minimize the amount of time, you know, that we have to have non-medical caregivers in. And, uh, you know, sometimes a family lives remotely and can't personally contribute, but would, would want to contribute money. And that will help too, you know, to, yeah. to pay for some hours for mm -hmm. non-medical home care when they can't be there. Stabilization for mom, stabilization for you, and stabilization of the money. These are three big areas when something happens to pay attention to, to make sure your mom continues to get the best quality of care possible thank you for watching hope you're having a great day and thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one you're making a huge difference in their life have a good day